In choosing my subject matter, I can become fascinated by something as inchoate as a mood or specific as a visual concept. I am drawn to paint the light at lost and forgotten parts of the day, to capture the contrast between a cool white wall in the evening and the elusive warmth spilling out from a window, to depict the almost tactile sense of edges that are lost in the shadows and emerge crisply into the light. In general, my ideas are more emotive and pictorial than intellectual. I never start out with an abstract idea and then try to attach an image to it. But sometimes I am haunted by a certain mood or visual concept and I will explore it from many angles before it releases me. Just as often though, I have many disparate ideas whose only common thread is that they all arise from a striking visual moment, which arrests my attention and demands to be painted. I try not to label myself as an impressionist, a realist or any such thing, and I hope I never do. What interests me most in my painting practice is the emotive quality of light. But a scene viewed in bright sunlight will convey a completely different feeling to the viewer to that same scene viewed by candlelight or lamplight. In a way, light is a subtle language that we all perceive intuitively, and our entire sense of the world is dictated by the quality of light. And this is what has always fascinated me in the scenes which I construct and record. Like music, it is pre-verbal and totally void of any intellectual constructs. It is something that I feel that I'm just beginning to discover and appreciate, and I think I will always feel that way. When the painting is done, it is in a sense just as mysterious to me as anyone else, for it many times contains illusions and cadences which I'd never intended. People often ask me the meaning of my paintings. They want to know what a particular painting is about. But I would never want to limit the viewer's experience with anything as closed and final as an artist's intention or a particular narrative. Even though each painting depicts something objective, I feel that there is a mutable dimension buried in the light and mood which will strike each person differently. And that open element of interpretation is part of the joy of painting for me. So it is best to look at my work without any specific idea or grid in mind, but rather inviting the painting to deliver you into your own world of imaginative experience.